Okay, you clear the stern. Yeah, no worries. Raj. A six eight wraps are zeroed. Over there. All stations at the bridge, we're going back into position okay. hold. Yep. Yep. Science testing. One, two, one, two. How's the volume? Looking good? Okay, we're good. Can I change this to Argus? Are we okay with the 60 hertz here? This is an audio slate, Science nav. audio slate uh, for dive number H1904 like at 22 
1900 mark. We're a bit off of our initial dive site. Would you like us to step back? Stop five zero, are you guys ready for control? Bump it. Hey, you've got a dex going off comms. And now bridge. Yeah, captain's going off comms now at the moment, uh, but just to let you know, we just see a, a bit of a, of a squall coming through the next uh, few minutes. Over. Copy that.
Oh, my bad. My 70 minutes. <laughs> You're voice listening? Raj. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Should we do some introductions? You guys front row in a good place? Um, no. Okay, <laughs> standing by. No, I just wanna, uh, yeah, we can do, they can do, can we, can you start in the back row? Yeah, no problem, Raj. And for introductions, yes. We're ready for introductions. Hello world, uh, welcome to Nada Live. My name is Brandy Jones and I am serving as your science communication fellow for this expedition. And we are so happy that you have joined us. Brandy, can you put your microphone a little closer to your mouth? Sure. Yeah, that's way better, thank hey. you. Hello world, welcome to Nautilus Live. Uh, we are excited that you've decided to join in. My name is Brandy Jones from Houston, Texas, serving as your science communication fellow. Roger. <laughs> All right. Amber, do you want to give an introduction? I was just trying to figure out what time it is, whether <laughs> or not I say good morning or good afternoon. <laughs> kind of floored at the moment. I think it's afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Science Left. My name is Amber Saravallo. And um, yeah, we hope you enjoy our first little blue water segment here. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Megan Lubetkin and I am the watch lead for the 12 to 4. And welcome, this is our first dive of 
our cruise to Kingman and Palmyra, and we are just just off the the banks of uh, Kingman Reef. So we're going to go up the side of a seamount, and we're hopefully going to check out some corals, sponges, and some volcanic rocks. So stay with us. Hello, everyone. I am Mary Duree, and I am here on the data logger seat. Thank you. Where are we on intros? Up to me? Go for it, video. Dave on video, Dave Robertson. I'm uh, lead video on this uh, expedition and sitting in the chair right now. Uh, we're training an intern. Her name is uh, Ryan Lung and uh, she has gone to troubleshoot a camera problem for me uh, as an exercise, uh, her first time doing that. So, And she's been successful at it. So we'll introduce Ryan at a later time. Go ahead. Have we gotten an introduction from our pilots for the expedition? Hey, this is Herc. Uh, what's going on? Tell the world your name. And yeah, absolutely. Thanks. OK, there's still Cam. And there's 4K. Raj, thank you. Um, are you, uh, watch lead, are you not on side left? You're on side right? I'm on side, yeah, I'm on side right. Roger that, okay. I'm just force listening to you now, so okay. that'll help. Sounds good. Well, because the lumpus is like four, four in from, yeah. And I, just, I know they said the forward one was worse than the aft. Well, I suppose, yeah, yeah. Hey, back to introductions. Uh, the uh, other video operator, other video engineer is here, Ryan. Hi everybody, my name is Ryan. I am from Long Island, New York, um, and I'm the video engineer intern for this watch. Hi Ryan. Welcome Ryan.
for those of you who are yeah. tuning in. Yeah, it is. Camera's tilted and all three Catholics are on, butt light and down light are on. Nav, side right. Um, do you have a minute to figure out what kind of speed we want to be moving along the bottom? I think if we want to get finish the dive by noon tomorrow, kind of we're doing about a sixth of the, the length. Awesome, thank you. Answer now. Yeah. Okay. So for those of you who are just tuning in, we're diving at Kingman Reef Hummocks within the Kingman Reef National Wildlife Refuge. We're in the Pacific Remote Islands, Remote National Monument, and we are expected to be in the water for about 24 hours. The goal is to explore biodiversity, geology of seamounts, and characterize deep sea corals, sponges, and volcanic rocks. Um, we are expected to go as far as 1,829 feet today. We have a question coming in. What is the black device on the front porch? I'm assuming they're curious about Hercules' manipulative arms. Do y'all think that's what he's asking about? Um, yep, so if you see in the, the Herc HD camera, off on the, the left mm -hmm. is one of the arms of, of Hercules. Um, that's a, a little bit preci less precise than the manipulator, which is on the other side. Um, but we do use it sometimes to hold things down um, and help with other uh, other operational needs. But the kind of black thing in the middle at the bottom, um, I believe, is the top part of uh, a camera that we have mounted to the front. Mm. So that's a HD um, great. It's a great still camera that we use for additional um, imaging. Awesome. Great question, Terry. So for everyone tuning in out there on Nautilus Live, we are descending down to the seafloor and starting our, our first dive of the cruise off of Kingman Reef. And uh, our operations team, our pilots and navigator are, are hard at work in the front, getting everything ready to go for, for our transect to begin. We should be on the seafloor in a little over an hour, so stay with us.
Someone asked a really good question. They say, um, is Herc and Argus connected in tandem? And if so, what is the reason for that? Hi, yeah, Herc and Argus are connected um, through a soft tether. Um, so Argus absorbs some of the heave of the ship and Hercules um, is free to roam around on the bottom of the seafloor and collect samples more freely uh, with that uh, heave absorb absorbed by Argus. Mm -hmm. Nice. That was from our Argus pilot, mm -hmm. Kylie. Sorry, I, I didn't get a chance to um, introduce myself. I was looking at the winch drum. Um, I'm Kylie. I'm an Argus pilot. It's my fifth season. I'm happy to have the vehicles in the water today and happy to be on watch with you guys. Thanks, Kylie. I can't really hear you. Can you move your mic a little bit closer? Uh, sure. Yeah, that works. Point four four. Okay, cool. And how mu how much ground would we cover with with that? Okay. Okay. That sounds good. And so what's, uh, what would we cover in our watch then from the total? I guess that's like a sixth of what you just said. Okay. <laughs> Did we get an introduction from all of our pilots? Um, we might need to stand by on that just because they're they're well, troubleshooting a couple of things, but we'll, we'll make sure we get back to them. All right. Go ahead. Oh, is that a little fish starting Okay, out? cool. Mm -hmm. Right. That sounds good. Thank you. Amber, what do you think the chances are of seeing some giant clams on this dive? I don't know what depths the giant clams usually reside in. I think those are part of the shallow reef system. Mm. So I don't know if we're going to be um, getting close to that on this dive. Got it. We had a guest just ask that question. Some of the things that we're looking forward to seeing on this dive are um, deep sea corals, sponges, and volcanic rocks. Great question. We also might see uh, what are called parasitic cones. Mm. So they'll just look like, um, as we go up the flank of the seamount, just might look like little mounds coming up, but those might actually be little volcanic cones that erupted. Hey, Nav. Science, right? Um, 
if there's a good moment when there whenever there might be one could you just show me on on high pack kind of the the path that they, that we'll be taking when we hit the bottom cool perfect yeah no rush What camera should that be on, uh, too? Someone is asking, why is the artist's camera blacked out? Right no, it's just dark. That's correct. It's just uh, it's just dark. Uh, camera's tilted up. Uh, and we're just uh, waiting until we get done uh, and in position on the bottom, and then we'll be looking at Herc from above. So you'll see some lighting soon. Ooh. It's just dark right now. Science oh. right. What do you think this is? I just caught the end of that. Was that a, a jelly or? It looked like a jellyfish. Yeah. It looked like a jelly, yeah. Or maybe I agree. a tinafore. Looked more like a tinafore, I and think. Yeah, they're, those, are, those look like tinafores, yep. Great. Moving through the blue water. Oh, here's another one. Yep, Here we there's go. another one. What do you think that is? I think that's a tinafore, so it's kind of like a gelatinous, uh, it's, it is, <laughs> organism, it's quite gelatinous. They're my favorite. <laughs> they're your favorite? Yeah. Oh, that was Kylie, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're quite cute. Fun to look at. Oh. I've mentioned oh. Tina Turner for, right, already? Oh my gosh, that one was cute. Wait, whoops. Uh, let's see, okay. What's up? We have a really good question. What are the different roles that Hercules and Argus serve on the dive? Um, Hercules and Argus, the vehicles or the pilots? <laughs> I think they're talking about the vehicles. Okay. Um, well, this would be a great question for our pilots, but they're they're a little bit busy for the moment. So mm. generally speaking, Hercules is the, the vehicle with big yellow uh, foam on the top of it. And it has mechanical arms that we use to collect samples, has great cameras that we use to see where we're going and, um, and do close-ups. And we also have a suite of sensors on it. I'm gonna start slowing down. So that's, that's the vehicle we're really using for kind of all the fine tune um, measurements.